right, all right, boys and girls. I bet you're surprised to see me. Yes, Coach Horn has invited Captain America to teach you about your new topic. So, like we like to do, let's clap and have a good time today and learn it about the first Israelites. So, we're going to start like this. Look at all these pictures that you may be familiar with. Look, there's somebody in the pyramids. There's some Jews that they'll be called later on. Yes, the first Israelites who we're looking at. Does that look familiar? The Ten Commandments will come from the first Israelites. Yes, look at this. All right, guys, let's get into the first Israelites. Our notes this is going to be exciting. Let's start like this. The first is Raelites. All right, the first Israelites, the early Israelites, about, guess the year. They, they began to move around. 1,200, that's right. <clears throat> Great changes took place around the Mediterranean Sea. Empires. All right, what happens to empires? Sometimes they just fail, and new people entered the region. Many set up after they fell. Small, not quite empires, but they are, can you guess? Kingdoms, that's right. Small kingdoms around, all right, only two year, 200 years after we started, 1000 BCE. Now, a people called the, who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Israelites, or the Israelites, built in the city of Canaan. That's right. Canaan lies along the Mediterranean Sea in Southwest Asia. Now, who were the Israelites? Let's learn a little bit about them. Although the Israelites' population was, was it big, small, what do you think? It was small. The religion practiced would one day affect, check this out, most of the world. Most people at this time worshipped, they worshipped a lot of gods, you're right, many gods and goddesses. The Israelites' religion focused on only one God. The belief in one God is called monotheism. That's right. So they were monotheistic. The Israelites' faith became the religion known today as Judaism. That's right. Judaism. The followers of Judaism were eventually known as, this is real simple, Jews. Judaism influenced Christianity and Islam. They all claim to have the same beginning. Jews, Christians, and Muslims all believe they started at the same place, and the same person, Abraham. We'll learn about him in a minute. The Israelites spoke a language called, what's the language they speak? Start with the H. Go ahead and say it. That's right. Hebrew. They wrote down much of their history and many of their religions or religious beliefs in what later became the, they have their own Hebrew Bible. The earliest Israelites were herders and traders, just like about everybody else when they first started. According to the Bible, they came from that first place that we learned about. The first civilization started here. Mesopotamia, that's right, and settled in, eventually will settle in this place called Canaan. That's right, this place called Canaan. We'll learn more about that in a minute. Today, this is Lebanon, Israel, and Jordan. All right, occupy the land that was once Canaan. The Israelites believed that they were descendants from a man named, can you name him? Abraham. Abraham, Father Abraham. In the Bible, it says that God told Abraham and his followers to leave Mesopotamia and go to Canaan. There they would worship the one true God. In return, God promised that they, the land, God promised that the land of Canaan would belong to Abraham and his descendants. Descendants. 
almost misspelled that. Abraham had a grandson named, it's right there, Jacob. Okay, Jacob was also called, check this out, this is where we get the word Israelites from, Israel, which means one who struggles with God. Later this name was given to Jacob's descendants. See here, given to, to Jacob's descendants, that's right. Given to Jacob's descendants. According to the Bible, Jacob raised 12 sons in Canaan. His family was divided into tribes. So had 12 tribes or separate family groups. These groups later became known as the 12 tribes of, all right, what's in his nickname? Israel, that's right. The Israelites lived in Canaan for about, they were there for about, how many years you think? Yes, 100 years. Then a long drought began. Crops withered and livestock died. To survive, the Israelites went to, where would they go and become slaves? That's right. They will go to Egypt. All right. From slavery to freedom. Life was not good in Egypt. The Egyptian pharaoh needed men to build his Pyramids, that's right. So he, what did he do to the Israelites? He enslaved them. All right. Uh, to prevent a rebellion, he ordered all baby boys born to Israelites thrown into the Nile River. <clears throat> the Bible says that one desperate mother put her baby in a basket and hid it on the river bank. The, the Pharaoh's daughter found the baby and then named him, and you know this name, very, very, very common name, Moses. When Moses grew up, he tended, one of the things he did, he tended sheep outside of Egypt. Around 1290 BCE, he saw a burning bush and heard a voice. He believed that God was telling him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt to, or back to, they should say, Canaan, or the promised land. To get the Pharaoh to let the Israelites go, the Bible says that God sent 10 plagues to trouble Egypt. A plague is sometimes a disease, all right? But it can also mean something that just causes problems for a lot of people. The last plague God sent killed all firstborn children except for those of Israelites who marked their doorway with lamb's blood. This plague convinced the Pharaoh to let the Israelites leave. Jews today celebrate a holiday called Passover. To remember how God passed over their homes with the 10 plagues and then delivered them from Egypt. As Israelites headed east, that's the direction they headed, out of Egypt, the Pharaoh changed his mind and sent his army after the Israelites. According to the Bible, God parted the Red Sea to let his people pass. When the Egyptians followed, the water flowed back and drowned the soldiers. The Israelites escaped from Egypt is known as the... It's one of the books in the Bible and a movie we tried to watch. Exodus. That's right. was known as the Exodus. Yes, very good. We're going to pause right there. Let's just go right up over here and let's see what we have right here. If we put this in, we put the word Exodus in. Let's see what happens. Exodus. All right. Yes, the Exodus. All right. Here's your movie title, or there's one of the pictures from it. Yeah, the Exodus. And this is a movie. Maybe we can watch this one day. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Many things that deal with it. The Exodus, yes. All right, guys. Thank you for paying attention. Part one, the first Israelites. Yes, there's the parting of the Red Sea. Yes, yes, yes. All right, get a closer look at that. There you go. All right, thank you for paying, staying and paying attention. We'll be ready for part two tomorrow. Captain America is out. Hope you love learning about history because it's amazing. Three, two, one, I'm out of here.